Hey guys, it's the Gaming Chief here back for another video and welcome to episode 2 of Minecraft Aquarium and I have a few things to say. Number 1, I'm trying this new thing to make my videos better quality where I am going to be voiceovering my videos. If you guys enjoy this, go ahead and put down, I don't know, hashtag saw shark to show that this is better than what I used to do. And um, as you can see, we have the three villagers from the three saw sharks. So let's get right to it. So we got three name suggestions last episode for some for the three saw sharks. Here they are in a second. The unknown asked for one of the saw sharks to be named Chester. Life08 asked to please name any fish Pablo, which will be one of the saw sharks. And Tips and Stuff asked to please name a saw shark Chuck Norris. I went ahead and used all those name tags, used the XP bottles, not knowing that. Well, you guys will see. So I named all three of the name tags, ran over to the saw shark tank, and then I realized something. You can't name the fish in this mod. And I spent a good 10 minutes trying before I figured that out. Here you can see me speeding it up, trying all the name tags, figuring, trying to figure out what's wrong. I never could. It's really cool. This one just zips over. It's like Superman. I tried naming all of them. Doesn't work. I just left and came up with a backup plan. I went to the shop and bought something. I bought signs. And I'm going to write down the, their names on the sign. This is probably just a temporary fix. So, you know, later we'll probably figure out a better plan for naming our fish. For now, you can't put name tags on them, so I decided to do this. Anyways, I started thinking of what the tank I'm going to do. I went over to see what fish there is, just to give me an idea, and I went ahead and started outlining. This tank is going to be very small, not very big. It's going to be kind of like the saw shark tank. I think a bit smaller, though. I can't remember. Uh, so yeah, I got black concrete from the store and made that outline, a kind of a weird cut if you ask me. I'm new to this whole thing of voiceovering, so I'll fix it later. And then I did this clip, turned it to sand. If anything I'm saying doesn't make sense, this is my first time voiceovering, so this is kind of weird to me. Usually I do like commentary while I'm doing stuff in the game. Now it's kind of like I pre-recorded and talking now, so just give me some time to get used to this, guys. It's kind of awkward, I know. So I went over here and got some water from the saw truck tank. Went inside the tank and started filling. So, this tank is going to be for a small fish, if you guys can guess. Go ahead and comment down below your guess. Don't cheat and skip to the end, but just go ahead and guess any kind of fish that can fit in this tank. To give you a quick hint, there's going to be five of them. Anyways, in the next episode, I've planned to make, to decorate the inside of these two tanks, plus probably add another tank on the other side, identical to this one, which will look pretty cool, I feel. And I'm going to start working on the paths. And the grass under the glass just looks terrible. So I'm going to have to replace that probably next episode. Next episode is going to be tiny fixes, you know. Decorating the insides of the tanks. Um, the under the glass. The path. I'm probably going to start working on the entrance of the aquarium. So I kind of have that planned out how it's going to be. But yeah, I did my final looks at the enclosure. It looked kind of good. So I went over to the board and started planning on what fish I'm going to do. And my heart was pretty set on the garfish. That changed quickly though as soon as I walked to the ocean. Once I got to the ocean, I decided not to do the garfish and instead to do the surgeon fish, otherwise known as dory. So yeah. 
So I did. So I ran a very long time all the way back. I had to buy some food when I got back, which was not in a clip because of how hungry I got. And I'm at the ocean. This clip is very laggy because there's a lot of fish in the sea. But there are the surgeon fish I'm getting. As I said earlier, I collected five of them before heading back home. And there's the fifth one right there. And then I walked all the way back home. For you guys, it was a second. There's my villagers sleeping. Well, not my villagers, the guests. And I'm going to place the surgeon fish. Sorry it's dark, guys. I didn't really realize it was nighttime, to be honest, while I was filming this. So, yeah. I placed all five of them, and now we're getting close to the end of this video. But I have something cool at the end. So, the surgeon fish have this glitch where their hitbox is basically like at the top of their animation or their model. So basically, whenever they try to swim, they think they're just swimming like near the ground, but they actually go inside the sand or whatever they're swimming above. And it kind of looks cool in some cases, but in other cases, you know, I kind of wish they would stay out and like look cool for the guests and stuff, swimming around, maybe even in a little school, if you guys know what that is. It's basically just a bunch of fish all grouped together. Anyways, I went to the store and got these food pellets to feed the fish. And it looks so cool when you feed them. You're gonna love it. So I looked at the sign, 16 emeralds for 10 pellets. So I went ahead and went with that, got my money ready, headed to the checkout box, aka where you pay, paid 10 emeralds, and I was on my way. The cool thing about the villager system I have, completely random, just wanted to talk about it, is that you can pretend like you're closed at nighttime because they all sleep and they don't pay. Anyways, I placed the very first pellet. What's cool about these is they go after it and attack it as if eating it. So it takes damage and it just looks so cool when they all swarm to eat. Usually it looks more like a swarm, but it looks like the one over there in the corner is dancing. Oh, it came back to eat. Perfect. Eventually I'll have a better system where I can actually get out. I'll have ladders or something in the tanks. I'm not sure though, because this tank is fully glass, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. But I went over to the surgeon fish enclosure, went ahead and gave them some pellets too. This was cool. Because... Basically what happened was the pellet, the first pellet I placed, one surgeon fish went after it, and then the other two, all four of them went after. And once all four of them finished their two pellets, they came after the one that the one surgeon fish hadn't eaten. Eaten, as you can see here. Sorry, I don't know what that was. And then that one that came took the last bite. Anyways, guys, this has been the Gaming Cheetah. I'll see you in the next one. If you have any name suggestions for a surgeon fish, let me know down below. I'm going to try to make it to where I can name them or figure out a better system. I'm not sure if I'll be able to yet, though. So, um, yeah. Also, if you guys enjoy this voiceover thing, I know it's been kind of awkward because I haven't really known what to say. But, you know, it's a first. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.